make known and worship the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. So come on, let's do that together. Let's lift up one voice as one body. We're going to sing out. Sing Edgewater. Hey, my name is John Delaney. I'm so glad to see you all here today. It's a beautiful Sunday and, and a great day to worship. Wouldn't you agree? Well, listen, I just want to uh, call your attention to a couple of things real quick. If it's your first time here, thank you so much for taking a chance and checking out our church. Uh, it's your church now, too. Uh, we're just so thankful that you're here. If it's your first, second, or third time here, there's a little tear-off in the back of the bulletin, a little two-sided tear-off. If you would fill that out with your information, we want to know who you are, that you are here, and we want to lift you up in prayer by name. On the opposite side of that is for everybody in the church. Uh, If you have praise reports, prayer requests, things that are going on in your life and you need to be lifted, please fill that out. Tear that off and drop that in the giving box on the way out of here today. Now, our giving box is our opportunity to give back to God because he provides us everything. So, if you uh, get the, please, on the way out, stop at the giving box, drop that off. If you don't, if you can't do that today, you can do it online on our website at edgewaterchurch.com. Check that out as well. And, uh, you know, before we go back to worship, one last thing. If you want to get connected to things that are going on in this church, and this is a a seven-day-a-week church, please check out your bulletin, read your bulletin. But at the bottom of the ramp, when you walk out of here today, is the Get Connected table. That's the place that you can find out what's going on right now and where you can get connected to the people inside the church as well as as the things that we are doing outside in the community. So please check that out as well. And before we go back to worship, let's pray real quick. Father God, thank you so much for this beautiful day that you give us, this opportunity that we can come here freely and worship you and praise you. We lift our voice to you and we are thankful in the knowledge that nothing can separate us from your love. And we all pray in Jesus' name and all God's people said, Amen. Amen. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, your perfect love is casting out fear. And even when I'm caught in the middle of the storms of this life, For my God 
this is your first time here, uh, man, thank you so much for coming out. Church, don't we love it when new people show up at Water? We do, man. We, we love our church. We love our city. Um, and we are so happy that you are here with us. Uh, if church might, you know, church might not be your thing, and that's okay. Uh, church, you might, it might be kind of weird to you. It might be kind of strange. Um, and, and that's okay. This is a this is a safe place. This isn't a place where you have to be uh, super spiritual. It isn't a space where you have to know everything, have, have to have all the answers. Uh, if that were the case, then this room would be empty. We are here uh, not because we've figured anything out, not because we have answers, but we are here because we're just broken people and we recognize that God is perfect. <laughs> And we long for his presence, and we love his presence. And so if you see us singing, you're like, why are these people so excited about, they're singing about the troubles that are in this earth. Haven't you seen Facebook? It's a disaster everywhere. Sad 
got emojis all over, right? What, what do we have to be happy about? But listen, we are not here singing about the troubles. We're singing about the God who is greater than the troubles on this earth. And that God is here for us. That God is here with us. And no matter what you're going through, whether you are on the top of a mountain and you got everything going well, or you are in the lowest of valleys, that same God is near you. That same God is here with you. He is not against you. He is for you. And we are here to recognize that he is greater and just to proclaim that, God, we need you. So as one body, as one voice, can we just, can we just lift, up, um, lift up our hands this morning as we just pray together? Uh, united. And we just say, God, we need you. We need your presence. We thank you, Lord, in your word. You say that in your presence is the fullness of joy. So God, we invite you into this place. We invite you into our lives as we sing out for your glory alone in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, I come. I confess. Bowing here. you I fall apart you're the one that guides my heart we sing this out together Lord I There's nothing on earth like your presence, Lord. We thank you just the healing power that it has just, just in our hearts. 
in our lives and our spirits, God. We thank you that you're not a God that can't that we can't relate to, that, that can't relate to us. But God, no matter man, no matter what hurt we're going through this morning, God, we know that you have had that same hurt on our behalf. As your word says, Jesus, we thank you that you are at the right hand of the Father speaking on our behalf, that you took on the cross, died a death that we deserved, and gave us forgiveness that we didn't deserve. So God, we know that you know our hurts. We know that you know our pain more deeply than we could ever imagine. And we thank you, God, that in place of that, you are providing us joy. You are providing us peace. And that's why we call it a peace that passes understanding because there's no reason why in this world today anyone should have peace. But we thank God because of who you are and because of your love for us. We can be in your presence and we can say that all is well because you are still on the throne. So Lord, this morning we pray that you would just open up our hearts and that you would speak your truth to us and that we wouldn't be distracted with the things that have happened or the things that are to come. But God, we would take in these truths and apply them to our lives, not just for our comfort, not just for our ease, but so that we can make your glory known throughout this world, throughout this city, outside of these walls, God. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your love. And we thank you, Lord, that you are here for us. So have your way in this place this morning, Holy Spirit. May you give us a new truth. May we experience you in a new way. We thank you for your love, God. We thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. You can be seated. Just how far we've come. No. 
praise God for his faithfulness this morning. If you're not already standing, I invite you to stand to receive the benediction today. Um, before we do, uh, just please don't forget to use the giving boxes in the back on your way out. Also, if I haven't gotten a chance to meet you, I'd love to get a chance to say hello. I'm going to be over on this side of the platform after the service. Um, as you go forth today, go experiencing the great and amazing love that God has for you. The love that was so great that he was willing to send his son Jesus to die on the cross for your sins and mine. So that we can be restored into relationship with him. Receive that love, but don't just keep it for yourself. There's a whole world out there that is starving for it, that is dying for it, that longs for it, and they're waiting for you and for me to share it with them. And so hear God's call to the Nineveh in your life and be faithful. Share God's love with them. Go in God's name. Amen. We'll see you next week.